Let's get a check of what's happening in the world of business. Our business editor, Kate Moody, is here. Hi there, Kate. Hi, Tom. Now, some good news for French households and businesses, because it seems inflation is coming under control. Yeah, not quite out of the woods yet, because there could be more peaks to come. But for now, at least the pace of consumer prices Price rises has slowed slightly. New data from the French statistics agency suggests that inflation in France dropped a bit from 7.1% in November to 67 in December. These are the numbers for the EU's harmonized index, which allows us to compare with other member states. Energy cost around 15% more than it did a year earlier. Uh, that's also slightly less than the previous month, while food inflation remained stubbornly high at around 12%. There have been similar modest falls in economies like Germany and Spain. France remains well below the Eurozone average inflation, uh, which is expected to come in at about 9.5% for December when that data are published on Friday. Well, French bakeries are among the businesses struggling to keep up with those soaring food and energy prices. On Tuesday, it was announced that French bakers would be allowed to negotiate new payment plans with energy suppliers, as well as spread out their tax payments to allow them to keep operating. Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire said that more direct financial aid could also be made available to help with those rising energy bills. The price of one staple in particular has skyrocketed this year. Flour is 45 percent more expensive in France than it was this time a year ago. That's partly linked to Russia's war in Ukraine, as well as the energy crisis that stemmed from it. Camille Knight has more. When it comes to baking, flour is a key ingredient. But for the past few months in supermarkets, prices have skyrocketed. This mill in northern France produces about 40,000 tonnes of flour. And though the wheat is harvested locally, it costs 50% more than it did a year ago. There are two main reasons for this price increase. The Russia and Ukrainian war, because they're two countries that produce a lot of wheat, and also because the wheat market is globalised and based in Chicago. So it doesn't matter what price the farmer wants to sell for. Everything is negotiated in the U.S. Adding to the final cost, the wheat is put through these machines for it to be ground down to flour, a process that consumes a huge amount of electricity. Here we go. It's all ground out. Yes, it really requires a lot of energy. When you add up the number of grindstones and the number of motors that we need to power the whole mill, it's a very large number of motors. In a year, the mill has seen its energy bill multiplied by six, with on top of that an increase in packaging and transport costs. Today, when you add up all the cost increases, wheat, energy, transport, packaging and gas, no miller can afford to sell flour for the same price as before. That's why the whole sector has seen huge increases for 2022, which impacts buyers and then consumers. Flour is one of the food products that's seen the steepest price increase meaning baking this year might not be such a piece of cake. Well, in the UK, food prices rose at a record pace of over 13 percent in December. That's according to a new report from the British Retail Consortium. Overall, inflation in the UK stands at 10.7 percent. That's slightly off a 40-year high. Economists have said that the cost of living crisis will mean the UK suffers one of the worst recessions in the developed world this year with Goldman Sachs predicting the British economy will contract, will contract just as much as Russia's this year. Well, in his first major policy speech of the year, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that addressing those issues were among his top priorities. First, we will halve inflation this year to ease the cost of living and give people financial security. Second, we will grow the economy creating better paid jobs and opportunity right across the country. Third, we will make sure our national debt is falling so that we can secure the future of public services. Facebook and Instagram's parent company Meta is facing two fines totaling 390 million euros in Ireland. Irish regulators said the social media giant's advertising and data handling practices were in breach of EU privacy laws. They said Meta should bring its operations in line with the EU's GDPR regulations within three months. Meta has said it will appeal that ruling. Well, separately, France's data regulator has said this Wednesday it's fined Apple some 8 million euros for breaching its privacy laws on the App Store. Those fines together a very clear sign that Europe's battle with Silicon Valley is far from over. Something to keep an eye on as we head into 2023, Tom.
Thank you very much indeed for that. Our business editor, Kate Moody. Thank you.